This section is uh, the boats for my, my collection. Starting off here with the, uh, the Midwest fantail, and over on the side here is uh, a small selection of pop-up boats. On this shelf there's a couple of three and a half inch gauge locos. Uh, this one is a Hornby Stevenson's rocket, and then next to that is an engine designed to look a bit like an Aveling and Porter tram loco. Uh, it's built up by myself based on a Mamo T1, but using wheels from another on the Stephenson's rocket with a few other bits, a few uh, Meccano bits, a few other Mamo bits, a few scratch built bits. Up here we have a couple of O gauge locos, Bowman 234 there, and then uh, next to it is a Mamod Jubilee SL6 loco. Next shelf down there's uh, a couple of wagons, there's the Mamod SW1 there, which has been converted to radio control, and next to it is another of my modifications based on the SW1, uh, but uh, is somewhat modified. That started off as just a chassis with no bodywork at all, and uh, now been converted to look like a, a typical old dray in the early steam days. Next we have uh, a Mammoth SR1 roller here, it's the, uh, the very earliest one when they first came out, you saw a nut and bolt construction. Next to that is a TE1, not quite the first I don't think, but uh, an, an early one. Um, and here we have a Kenneth Wells engine, which uh, was probably built in a school somewhere in the metalwork class. Sitting down here on its own is the Mamad SA1 steam car, uh, one of the later ones. Um, it was so lonely on its own. I allowed Kimbo and his friends to uh, stand guard over it. On the top shelf of the stationaries, we start off with a still done 13 stroke 5. Uh, next to that is an early Mamad SC2, a flat base, and a brass flywheel, um, and then over here there's a Whedon, the only Whedon I have, a 903. Um, it's still missing the chimney and the whistle is a little bit crooked but uh, it's a good runner. It's 110 volts so uh, you know, I need to, need to run it on a, on a transformer. Next shelf we have a Mersey 52 uh, not in particularly good condition. Doesn't even run very well. It leaks like a sieve. Uh, next to that we have Kleinemeyer engine house, made by one of the forum members. Next we have the Lisco D6 and Manard Minor One. Next we have group of Hillcraft engines, the Jenny Wren on the left, really put in the middle, and the Marine engine on the right there. Uh, next we have uh, the cell engines, we have a full house here, there's a, first of all the Miner, 
and junior and standard I want to have the red base slightly unusual and the major and then on the end there there is the marine engine that's an own floor being used by Mamad in their ME3 engine this shelf starts off with a Willesco D3 well, there's a viewcomer in their range and uh, beside that is a Bowman 175 and next to that another Sildon this is a 13 stroke 2 the one with the rather clever semi-rotative valve gear Next, we have a nice little engine made from a kit. Kit supplied by Hoppitech. Uh, model 420. Uh, next to that is Luden Bowman PW201. And in the end there is a thing vertical engine that is a one thirty stroke eight one two. Start off here with the uh, the famous Mamad S E three C, which I'm sure you've all heard of. And I'm sure you're all aware that not one of the Mamad standard range it's a three cylinder engine first three cylinder Mamad but uh, certainly not the only one now there's at least one or two others and uh, next to that is the Jensen 70 another 110 volt electric on this uh, shelf we have a row of smaller engines starting off with the uh, Mamad ME1 marine engine next to that is an ME3 marine engine that's the one that uses the cell marine engine unit and then we have Mamad made Meccano engine and next to that is um, a sectioned engine unit from a Willesco D16 and on the end there is a Kenneth Wells stationary engine down here we have uh, the only Swedish made engine I have is the Nalga John Ericsson model and next to that is uh, I believe is Bowman's first steam engine a CM101 on this shelf start off with the, the biggest engine in my collection this is a Bing 130 stroke 466 uh, rather nice rather large chimney stack there and next to that is another sectioned engine this is the Mabad SE3 next shelf we have Willesco D16 on that side and a Bowman twin cylinder M122 and then on the last shelf there is last but certainly not least and Mamad SE3 completely unmodified in this case and complete